At Foundation Medicine, we are working with the oncology and pathology community to continue to lead a transformation in cancer care, where each patient's treatment is informed by a deep understanding of the molecular changes that contribute to their disease. Foundation One CDX and Foundation One Heme are comprehensive genomic profiles that interrogate the entire coding sequence of the cancer-related genes and identify all four classes of genomic alterations that are driving cancer. The Foundation One CDX test is for patients with solid tumors, and the Foundation One Heme test is for patients with hematologic malignancies or sarcomas. Once an oncologist or pathologist orders a test from Foundation Medicine, a sample is delivered from the pathology lab to our accessioning team. Once the patient's tumor sample is received, our accessioning team ensures that we have received the right documentation, including the test requisition form and a pathology report. A unique ID number is created to track the sample throughout the testing process. Information about the sample received is imported into our limb system. An H&E slide from each case is required to ensure the submitted tissue meets our testing criteria for the selected assay. These H&E slides either come from the outside pathology lab or are generated by our in-house histopathology team by staining submitted unstained slides or by sectioning the FFPE blocks. For hematologic malignancy samples, fresh peripheral blood samples, and bone marrow aspirates, smears are prepared and stained. Each sample we receive undergoes a thorough review process by our team of in-house pathologists. This ensures that the sample received is correctly matched to the patient and meets the specimen adequacy requirements for the assay selected. The h &E slide from each sample is scanned on an imager to create a record of what was tested. The size of the tissue is measured and the cellularity is assessed. A minimum of about 30,000 nucleated cells are needed to extract the 50 nanograms of DNA required to proceed with DNA sequencing. Additionally, the pathologist confirms that at least 20% of the total nucleated cells within each sample are tumor cells. This threshold ensures an adequate signal-to-noise ratio of tumor DNA to background normal DNA, which is critical for detecting all classes of alterations, especially gene copy number changes. About 92 to 94 percent of specimens have enough tumor tissue for testing and pass the pathology review process. If the sample does not pass our path review, our client services team will work together with the patient's pathology lab to identify alternative tissue sources and facilitate timely results to influence the patient's treatment plans.